Hey everyone, it's Intel here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day as usual and welcome back to another commentary video. So this video is gonna be a little bit special. I'm going to finally be releasing my Lunar Client profile. I know I've been telling you guys that I was gonna release it ever since I hit like 200K and it's almost been like 100K subs since then. So <laughs> I'm a little bit late, just a little bit, but uh, we don't talk about that. But anyways, the first part of this video is going to be me talking about my Lunar Client profile and showing you how to apply it. And the download is in the description, by the way. And then the second part of this video is going to be me talking about some other things like my butterfly clicking training arc. Yes, I've been trying to learn how to butterfly click, I know. Not gonna get into it just yet, I will talk about that and some other things after I show you guys how to install my Lunar Client profile. I do want to say with regards to my Lunar Client profile, so this is basically all of my settings and all of my mods that I use on Lunar Client, so if you want your Lunar Client to look exactly how mine does, if you want like all the mods to be the same, all the settings to be the same, then you can apply my profile and it will look exactly like that. My settings aren't necessarily performance optimized, like you can tweak it and make it super performance optimized if you want, but then you make your game look sort of worse, which I don't really want to do with my game since I already get like a really high FPS anyways. But it's just all of my mods and how I want my mods to function and look like and how my GUI looks like on screen, so if you like the way that my Lunar Client looks in my videos and my recordings and in my streams, then you're, you're gonna like this. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys how to apply it now, and uh, I would like you guys to stick around for the whole video, just to hear me ramble about stuff and my life and my butterfly clicking experience, and also just like increase the average view duration of my video, cause you know, I'm trying to get that YouTube ad revenue. But with that being said, let's go ahead and go to the segment where I show you how to apply it. Okay, so to apply my Lunar Profile, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is open your mods menu and go ahead and save a new profile. You wanna remember the profile name. For me, it's Profile1. 982 so on. After that, you can go ahead and close out of your Minecraft. From there, you want to go into your file explorer and then go into your C drive and then go under users and then open whatever your main user folder for me is. For me, it's just user and then go into the dot lunar client folder. From here, go into settings, game, and then you will see all of your profiles. From there, open up the profile that you just made. So for me, it was profile 1982 so on. And then you're gonna wanna copy all of these uh, little files that are in my lunar client profile, which is gonna be in the download in the description. And you want to drag it over and replace the files in destination and that should be good. So you can see now when I'm back in game, when I open up my mods profile and I select the Lunar Client profile that we made earlier, the one, the profile 1982, whatever, uh, it's gonna have all my settings. So it has my keystrokes, uh, status effects, literally everything that's part of my settings and that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's my Lunar Client profile out of the way. So for the rest of this video, I want to do some commentary talking about some other stuff like my butterfly clicking training art. So one thing I've been doing recently is I've been trying to actually learn how to butterfly click and like I've known how to butterfly click in the past but like I was never good at it and I've been actually putting like time and effort into like actually being good while butterfly clicking. So my past two streams on YouTube, if you guys didn't catch my streams, were my butterfly clicking training arc streams and uh, I've been doing that on stream just only butterfly clicking and forcing myself to like try to get good at it until I am. And I'm not doing this because I hate trigger clicking all of a sudden, it's nothing like that, I'm just bored and I wanted to learn a new skill set. And I've been meaning to try and learn how to butterfly click properly for a while now, but I was procrastinating it. But I finally got bored enough to the point where I was like, hey, you know what? Everyone's butterfly clicking nowadays. Let's see if I can do it. And well, I've been having limited success. I'm still not good at it, like at all. <laughs> what I found that I could do is that I can butterfly 20 for like a burst. So like for two or three seconds and then my fingers just completely die. As of right now, it just feels really, really awkward forcing myself to butterfly click every fight and it feels really unnatural and uncomfortable. I'm hoping that changes, you know, the more that I try it. Some part of me is paranoid because like, I'm a big Osu player. A lot of you guys know that already. I've been playing Osu for five years and there's this skill in osu called streaming where you sort of alternate your z and x key really fast and it's sort of like butterfly clicking on your keyboard and out of like the five years i've been playing osu i still cannot like stream properly and i'm pretty decent at every other skill set like within my rank 
but streaming, like doing long streams, I just absolutely suck at and like I just cannot get better. Part of me is low-key sort of paranoid that I have like some unlucky genetics that like prevent my fingers from like alternating properly and that's gonna like carry on to butterfly clicking or, or something stupid like that. I know I'm probably just being paranoid, but I'm not gonna give up just yet. I'm gonna keep trying until hopefully I have some success. If you guys want to watch me suffer learning how to butterfly click, then you should catch my butterfly clicking training arc streams, and uh, I don't really have a specific streaming time. I sort of just stream whenever I want, but you guys can also catch the VODs. They're all enlisted in a playlist, which I will leave in the description below. The mouse that I've actually been using to butterfly click on is the Glorious Model I, which is the brand new Glorious mouse that just released not too long ago. Glorious sent me this mouse a while ago, before it was released, as well as the Glorious GMMK2 keyboard. I don't think I'm gonna make an individual mouse review on the Model I, but what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna make a Glorious setup video where I use the Model I, the GMMK2, and then I also have one of the Glorious mouse pads, which is the Glorious Ice mouse pad. And that video is going to be my next video, so be on the lookout for that because I know a lot of you guys really love my setup videos. And I'm really excited to make that video because I'm not gonna lie, like I have been really enjoying using these Glorious products. Like Glorious has definitely stepped up their game, but I don't wanna talk about it too much because I don't wanna spoil my own video. Aside from that, one other thing I thought was worth mentioning is that I'm pretty close to 300 stars in Bedwars. I think right now I am at 297 stars. I know on the gameplay that you're looking at on screen, uh, my star rating is probably a little bit lower, but that's just because I tend to pre-record my gameplay and then just use it when I need it. I know some Bedwars players who like play the game religiously do fancy stuff like having like prestige parties and stuff, which like I've never really gotten. Like to me, it's just another level. Like it doesn't really matter that much to me, but I mean, for some people, if they play the game a lot, then maybe I can see it from their shoes. Who knows, maybe I'll do something special, maybe I'll stream it or something, I'll keep you guys posted on that, but currently I have no plans since like it's just a, a level to me. It's definitely been a long time coming though, I felt like I've spent like forever being a 200 star player because I don't really play the game like all that much, like I really only play Bedwars within content creation, so like when I'm recording or when I'm streaming. But you know, it's a cool milestone nonetheless, and I thought that I would share it with you guys, and who knows, maybe we'll do like a special stream or something, I don't know. Oh, and then like one last last thing, I just got some new Lunar Cosmetics made and they are really really nice. I'm gonna like release them pretty soon, but in my opinion, these are probably like my best looking cosmetics yet. I really like them a lot and I'm super excited to release them. Definitely gonna be doing like some type of giveaway when I do, so I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted on that. But anyways, I think that is going to be pretty much it for this little segment of commentary, so I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching, it really does mean a lot to me. But with that being said, hope you guys have a fantastic day and I will see you later. Peace out.